guys, welcome to another video. What do you guys think? It's on my new mat, what the lovely Just Joe Nail Addict made me. I love it. Thank you so much, Chick. So today, I'm going to be doing a little bit of a different kind of design. So I saw these denim jean nails on Instagram. I thought they was really cool. So I'm kind of struggling at the minute. Like, Valentine's is just gone. It's a bit too soon to be doing Easter designs. We're kind of going into spring, but... I still feel it's a little bit too soon, so I wanted to do something a little bit different. So yeah, I saw these denim jeans design on Instagram, and I thought it was really cool. So I wanted to give it a go. So I've, you'll see I've done this test nail, because I wanted to see if my idea was going to work. So, on my palette, I've mixed some of Madame Glam's white texture gel. Then into that, I've added a little bit of Madame Glam's... Mahalo gel polish. That was a little bit too light, so into that I've also mixed some of the Madame Glam Blue gel paint, and I think that colour is going to be perfect. I'm just not too sure if the texture is going to be a little bit too textured, but I'm thinking once I come to top coat the nails, it's going to lose a little bit of that texture anyway. So I'm hoping it's going to work. So that nail is done. These two outer nails are going to be the same. So I'll just show you me doing one of them. So I've pulled out Madame Glam's Spring in Paris. And I'm just going to add a little blob there. A little blob there. And a little blob there. For now. Then I'm going to get my detailer brush. So I'm just doing it blobs like that. I don't want them to be neat. I want them to be quite rough around the edges. I'm going to cure that for 30 seconds. And then on this ring finger nail, again, I'm going to do... a section like that and pop that in the lamp to cure for 30 seconds so on this point of fingernail I'm now going to use this textured blue what I've mixed and I'm just going to start off by going around the edge of these first Then give that a cure in the lamp for 30 seconds. And then we're going to fill the top and bottom of this nail with that blue. Give that a cure for 30 seconds. So now I'm going to do a little bit of highlighting. So I've popped a little bit of Madame Glam's Snowdrops on my palette, which is a really nice light blue. I'm going to use a sponge. I'm just going to do like little light patches. Don't want to be super light, just a little bit. Just, just to give it a little bit of like definition. That's the right word. Like that. Like that. 
So now I'm going to get my detailer brush and I'm going to use that light blue. I'm just going to do some little like threads in the jeans. Right, so on this one guys, I'm going to paint a front pocket. So I've mixed some of that lighter blue, a really, really small amount, into that textured blue. Because I want this colour to look ever so slightly lighter. And that will give it the effect of looking slightly raised. And then this bit is going to be... Pocket. Right, so now we're going to do the little frayed edges. So to do that, we're going to use the Madame Glam's white texture gel. I'm just going to go around the edge. And I'm going to do some stringy lines going over that nude colour and then around the edges I'm just going to do some like little flicky flicks. Like that. Give that a kill for 60 seconds. Now on this one, again I'm using the Madame Glam's white texture gel. And we're just going to start off by outlining this middle section first. Now on this one, I want to do the stitching. Now this needs to be super fine, guys. And I'm using that light blue gel polish again to do these stitches. Just like that. Give that a cure for 30 seconds. 
Now, I did try and use the texture gel to do this, but I was really struggling. So I've pulled out the Madame Glam's white gel paint, and I'm painting a kind of flower design with a couple of leaves coming off it and then a netted effect in the background. Then once I'm happy with that, I'm not going to cure it straight away because I'm going to sprinkle some clear acrylic powder into that uncured gel paint and then I will give that a double cure in the lamp. Right, these are all ready for some top coat now, guys. So we're going to be using the Madame Glam's Velvet Matte Top Coat and I need to see what this texture is going to look like once I've put top coat on. So let's have a look. Yeah, see, look, that texture starts to disappear with the top coat on. So the only way I can get around that is by... So apply the top coat and then get a sponge and sponge it like that. And there we go. That texture is back again. Perfect. So... Pop that one in the lamp. And then before I cure this one, I'm just going to use a little bit of gem glue. Oh, a little dot. Just that. And a little dot. Just that. That is it. That's all I need. Two itty bitty dots like that. Oh, they're perfect size as well. I thought they might be too big, but they're actually perfect. Then cure that one in the lamp. There we are, guys. That is them um, all finished. What do you think? I mean, they look pretty cool. I reckon if I was to give them another coat of top coat and sponge it again, I think they would look a little bit better. I think they're still a little bit too textured. So I might, just for my Instagram pictures, I might do another coat of top coat. But you kind of get the gist of what they're supposed to look like. Can you see like there, there's still the odd shiny patch where I've obviously sponged off too much. So yeah, I think they just need another coat of top coat and I think they'll be fine. I like them, they're just something a little bit different, aren't they? Just something a little bit different. The one thing I would change if I was to do these again is I would have used a darker nude so you can see that netting effect a little bit better. You can't really see it very well because that nude's too light. But yeah, I think they're cool. Just think a little different. Let me know what you guys think. Do you like them? Do you not? Let me know in the comments. Everything that I've used today, I shall leave listed in my description box below. You'll also find any discount codes that I've got in there as well. And again, I want to say a massive thank you to Just Show Nail Addict 
for my beautiful mat. Thank you so much. I absolutely love it. Well happy with that. Thank you, chick. So that's everything, guys. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing to my channel as well, if you're not already. And I hope to see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.